Well, I actually want to I want to back it up and take it to a higher level because I think a lot of um, the conversation when we talk about um, amendments to CDA 230 really focuses on one type of internet company and one model of content moderation. The conversation is always dealing with you know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, um, and all of those companies are very large and they all moderate centrally um, with you know, sometimes tens of thousands of employees in Facebook's case. Um, Reddit operates quite differently. Um, some of you may not be familiar with how Reddit is structured, um, but you can think of Reddit as a series of message boards that are organized around interest. All of those message boards are user created and user moderated. Um, so content policy on Reddit really has two levels and you can think of it as a federal system. So on the top level we have, you know, if you want to think of it as our constitution, we've got our content policy, um, which I and my team set um, from the top. Uh, it's a corporate set policy. It's very high level. It includes things like don't incite, encourage, or glorify violence. Don't harass people. Don't sell controlled goods on the platform. Um, don't share what we call involuntary pornography. These types of things that we can all generally agree upon. But beyond that, um, our user moderators who are not employees of ours, and in fact, they're anonymous to us because um, we have a different model in terms of privacy. We don't collect a lot of user data. We don't collect your real name or anything like that. Um, so these user moderators are free and in fact encouraged by us to set their own much more specific rules for their little slice of the website um, that are appropriate to their community. So for example, um, we have, it's a, it's a silly community, but it illustrates the point. We have a community called Cat Standing Up. Um, and in Cat Standing Up, you may only post a photo of a cat standing up on two legs, not four legs, two legs. And you must, the only thing that you can comment or write in this subreddit is the word cat, period. If you write anything else other than the word cat, period, it will be removed by the moderators. And we provide those moderators with some automated tools to help them uh, in this endeavor. Um, and you know, that's, that's within their prerogative. It's a little bit silly, but you know, a more serious example is we have a lot of subreddits that deal with news. Um, so we have a large news community, r slash news. Um, and they've had to think very thoughtfully about how they wanna deal with say the, the fake news issue. Um, so they've decided amongst themselves, again, without any type of our company involvement, that they want to operate based on a whitelist of news sources that they consider trustworthy. And it works very well for that community. So again, with the automated moderation tools that we give them, they can automatically remove any URLs that come from a site that they do not consider a trusted news source. You can imagine what a disaster it would be in terms of outcry if we, at the corporate level, tried to uh, set a policy saying we think this is a legitimate news source, this isn't. Um, but we let the communities figure it out for, it, for themselves, and it works. And if you know, a user doesn't agree with the policy of a particular subreddit, they're absolutely free to go and start their own subreddit with their own rules and their own source whitelist if they would like to do so. Um, and it's hard to envision a user-led moderator system being in the marketplace at all um, without CDA 230. If we were held liable for everything that the users potentially posted, we, we wouldn't be able to have this model. We fundamentally would not be able to exist. And that's where this becomes a competitive issue um, because at a time when you know we're talking about antitrust investigations and we're wondering if the biggest players are too big, the last thing you wanna do is you know make a law that makes it harder for smaller companies like mine to compete or even makes it impossible for smaller companies like mine to exist.